everyone back here with another video. As you can see today, our topic is talking about all kinds of different types of fly boxes. So before we start out here, thank you guys, everybody that's been watching over the last couple months that we've been really trying to shoot some more videos. We appreciate it. Make sure that you hit that bell icon so you're notified every time that we put out a new video. We're trying to do it at 9 o'clock every Monday morning. And then hit the subscribe button. Um, if you can also put some sort of comment in the link below, let us know what you're looking for. We're getting really close to some nicer weather. All of a sudden we got uh, back into the freezing temperatures in the last week. But we're going to get some days on the water, uh, get some instructional stuff there, as well as just some fun days out fishing. Um, so we look forward to showing you guys that. So thank you guys again for watching this. Um, if you look in the link below, you can see uh, the description for the video as well as all the information on our fly boxes on our website. Um, so today through Wednesday, you can take 15% off of all of our fly boxes. Um, so be sure to do that. The code will be in the description below. You can check that out in three days. So hop on that soon because you're going to need them for all the flies that you're either buying or tying uh, getting ready for the spring season. So, as you can see, we have a pretty good selection of boxes. We actually have some more coming in in the near future, uh, so keep an eye out. We have a couple that are a little low in stock, but those are also uh, back in stock here in the next couple weeks, too. So we're going to start with probably our most popular fly box. So we sell so many of these, it's absolutely ridiculous, and that is our silicone boxes. As you can see, we have, this is the extra large, the large, the medium, and then we have our double-sided one. Um, so these boxes are great for a number of reasons. First of all, they're fully waterproof. So we have a gasket that's into the boxes themselves. Um, keeps the water out. I always say it's waterproof on the outside in, but also the inside out. So if you end up throughout your day with wet flies, make sure you keep your box open, throw it on the dashboard, the passenger seat on your drive home, dry them out so that you don't keep all that moisture inside of your waterproof boxes and rest your hooks out. So one of the great things about these boxes is the silicone inserts on them. So you can see these little triangles here. There's actually a little slit that you slide the hook bend in. So you're going to take the bend of your hook and slide it in backwards into these little slots. It holds it nice and tight, nice and secure, um, and it doesn't degrade over time like foam does. So it's going to last a long, long time for you. Um, so we sell a lot of these boxes both on the website and our fly shop now. And uh, these are a great addition for you guys to hold all your flies. This one I like for something with a little bit of a bigger profile, as you can see on the extra large box here. It's got a little bit more depth to it, so you can put streamers in here, some of your bigger dry flies, um, and it holds a decent amount of flies there. These medium and large boxes are nice. They save a lot of space, so they're super thin, have a lot of room for extra flies in here. A lot of our urine nymph guys like these. Um, you can put some dries in here. I wouldn't put anything over about a 14 or a 16 or else you're going to get too close to the clearance there and crush your hackles. We'll talk about that later. And then the double-sided box is great. Whenever I start someone brand new uh, in the shop into fly fishing, usually I kind of sort them. I put all of our sinking flies on one side. So I'll put all of their nymphs and streamers on one side, the dries on the other. Because as a beginner, sometimes it's difficult to figure out the difference between the two. Um, so it's just a nice way to be able to organize a little bit better too and, and be able to carry a bunch more flies all in one box. So those are our silicone boxes. Um, we've got them priced right. We sell a bunch of them. We have a bunch of different sizes. Uh, we're working on trying to potentially put silicone in a couple of our bigger boxes as well. Um, so we're working on that. Hopefully we'll be able to get that out sometime later this year. Next up is what I would call just a good general purpose box. Uh, so these are our slim boxes. So they've got a foam insert on them, both sides. These hold, if I remember, like close to 400 flies. Um, so you put one in every single slot, holds a ton of flies. People struggle getting these open for some reason, but there's a little, uh, there's like a little catch there. And all you have to do is put a little bit of pressure on it. It opens up the box. We have these in the blue as well as the red. Great boxes just for holding a ton of flies. Uh, so if you're just getting into the sport, you want uh, a good affordable box, these are $12. Um, the silicone boxes range from uh, 14 for the medium, 17 for the large, 20 for the double-sided, and 23 for the extra large. So these are $12 box. This is also a $12 box. Right now we're out of stock on the chartreuse color, which we sell a ton. We have a few of these left. It's a full EVA foam. 
Um, even the hinge is all uh, molded into the foam. And then there's magnets on the outside. Holds a decent amount of flies, super lightweight. And the nice thing about these is they float. I always say, you just make sure you catch up to it if you do drop it in the water. Um, it's a great inexpensive box, holds a lot of flies. The magnets hold it really tight, as you can hear when it closes. Um, and just a great box for not weighing you down throughout the, the, the day on the water. Um, so I like these. They fit in a lot of pockets, uh, small chest packs or sling packs. Uh, if you're a Berkey fisherman or one of those blue liners that just likes to carry a box or two um, and a few other accessories and go out fishing, this is a great box for that as well. This next box here, actually we'll go to these ones next. So these are our super slim boxes. They're actually about half as thin as our slim boxes. Um, we have them in two different styles. This compartment box actually has magnets on the bottom. So this is a fantastic box for small flies. I like to put anything 18s or smaller into here, um, especially dry flies where you can't really put the bend of the hook into the foam or the silicone um, because it just doesn't fit, it's too small. So this is a great box because the magnet's on the bottom, um, just to be able to hold onto those tiny flies. All you midge fishermen out here will love this. And then this one is our super slim with the easy grip foam, just a foam insert on them. Holds a lot of flies, saves a lot of space, um, and a uh, good inexpensive box. I believe these are 14. This next box here is one of my favorites for nymphs. Yeah, I'll keep other boxes for nymphs like um, got one of these for Euro nymphs. So when I'm actually out Euro nymphing, I've got a lot of the ones that I like to use depending on the season. This box is fantastic for the swing leaf in the middle of it. So this is a $15 box. It holds over 400 flies in here. So I love this for a nymph box. I don't like it for a dry fly box for this reason. Whenever you're closing the swing leaf, you're going to crush all the hackles that are in there. But for you guys who like to bring a ton of nymphs, all your attractor nymphs, all your hatch matcher, matching nymphs. Um, it's just a great box for carrying an absolute ton of flies with you um, and saving some space rather than carrying three or four boxes to carry the same amount of flies as what this one does. So, great box here. This next one, we just brought this out maybe about a year, a little over a year ago. This is what we call our collection boxes. Um, this is a great box, this one, and we have one. This is the extra large, the other one's large, um, for putting extra your vise. So as you're tying, you know, whether it's all winter long or you're tying before a hatch comes up, um, have this next to your vise, take all of your flies, throw them in here, and then you can sort them and put them into your other boxes later. Um, so it's just nice to keep them organized instead of you tying a bunch of flies and putting them in cups or, you know, having them laying all around your flying tying table. Um, this is great. It's also great. Uh, it's super lightweight and thin. If you carry a backpack or a bigger chest pack, um, you can carry it in the back there. And it's big enough that you can carry some decent sized streamers too. Uh, so this is a great streamer box. Or if you don't want something this big, we have the smaller version in the large. That makes sense. Child sized. Somebody will get that. Um, so yeah, great box for a multiple of purpose, multitude of purposes. You can even throw these in your drift boat or things like that. It carries a ton of flies with you. Speaking of carrying a ton of flies, this is probably one of my most favorite boxes that we have. So this is a very heavy duty. This thing has some heft to it. Uh, it's a double-sided waterproof briefcase box. We do have a single-sided version as well, um, but this double-sided is great. It's pretty much bomb-proof. The plastic on it is super thick, so you won't have to worry about dropping it on your boat um, or you know, or breaking it. We've had very few issues whatsoever with this thing. Um, you can pretty much uh, yeah, uh, beat this one up and it's gonna still keep on going for you. So as you can see, it's got a lot of slots in them. The foam on these is a lot bigger than, for instance, you can see the difference here um, compared to the EVA foam box. These slots are a lot bigger. This is a great streamer box. Um, I carry this. It's the first time I, I loaded this one up, I went to Alaska. I had all of my topwater wogs and mice on one side and then carried a, an absolute ton of streamers on the other side. All of my flesh flies and egg sucking leeches and all the other uh, streamers and stuff that I used when I was there. Also carry this whenever I do my um, trips to New York. So, selfless plug. Uh, we do, uh, we actually have two sets of dates for our salmon river trip this fall in the middle of October. Catching king salmon, coho salmon, steelhead, lake run brown trout. 
We have a fantastic time, four nights stay, all your meals and lodging are included for only 750 bucks. I'll throw that link down below just because I pitched it now. But this is a great box, like I said, for carrying a ton of flies, especially streamers. Um, I want to say I fit over a hundred streamers just on one side because um, I fit, uh, I just did every other row because mine were a little big and uh, we had like five rows of over 20 in each row. So great box, double sided version. We also have the single sided version and uh, like I said before, everything's 15% off. Check the code below. Last but not least is this aluminum box. We don't see a whole lot of aluminum boxes out there. Um, the old style Wheatley boxes were super popular. Uh, they had two of the open compartments inside of them. I love these for dry flies because of this. Uh, these compartments, you can put as little or as many flies on the inside of them, and I prefer to put my dries in here uh, because it won't crush the hackle. So you can put about a half a dozen in there, and they're still going to be fluffy. You don't have to worry about shutting a lid like one of these um, and crushing the hackle. So it's got a little bit more room for there. I actually have got the luxury of having a few extra boxes at my disposal. I have a bunch of these and I have them sorted for each hatch that I fish throughout the year. So for instance, we have a good caddis hatch, the granum caddis, it's coming up in about a month from now. Um, and this is a box where I'll keep, uh, I have a couple wet flies that I typically fish during the caddis hatch, I'll put them on this side. Um, so if I want to fish a wet fly or um, a nymph, I'll put them on here, but then I'll put uh, my emergent caddis, uh, my regular caddis, my egg laying caddis, and even some spinners all in the same box. So when I go out and I'm fishing for a specific hatch throughout the day, I only need one box. I don't have to grab my dry fly box, my nymph box, my emerger box. They're all sorted by hatches. So um, I've got a caddis box. I have like my um, sulfurs and March Browns, which come out about the same time. I've got my Drake box for both the brown drakes and green drakes that we see here in Pennsylvania. I've got my Blue and Doll in the Midge box, um, which you're going to see throughout the year. Um, and then I've got a couple others like that. So these are great boxes. We have them in blue as well as the green. Yeah, so I think in this video, I, you guys can probably count how many times I said box. Uh, it's, it's a lot. Uh, but at the end of the day, you need flies to be able to fly fish and you need boxes to be able to store them. Um, so having a bunch of different styles available for you guys I think is great so that you can uh, use them for different styles of, of flies to put in your boxes um, and to be able to organize them a little bit better. Um, so some of the organization that I do, like I said before, I use these for dry flies. Um, I really love these boxes, like I said, for a beginner just getting into things, but I carry a lot of my egg flies for the salmon and steelhead runs in these. Uh, they just hold a lot of flies and it's uh, just a nice lightweight box to carry a ton of. I use this for streamers, this for my nymphs, like I said everything before. Um, one of my best tips that I'm going to give you is just organize. You know, take the time before uh, the weather really gets better for you guys out west, before the snow melt off comes um, and kind of uh, you know, ruins the stream for a little bit. Um, take your time, reorganize all your boxes as we talked about last or two weeks ago in prepping for the season. Uh, you can actually take some of the squash dry flies, put them underneath a, uh, a teep kettle or something like that, steam them up, it'll revitalize them, and then organize them. So do your best. I like to have nymph boxes, streamer boxes, um, species boxes. So I have a box like this for bass fishing or my warm water fishing. And then, I, like I said before, I've got one for salmon fishing. Um, I use one for saltwater flies as well. So trying to keep everything organized makes your life a whole lot easier rather than okay, well I need nymphs from here and dries from here and streamers from there and they're all in one box, but I have eight boxes that have everything in them. So take your eight boxes and make something more specific and organize them a little bit better before the season comes out. Thank you guys again. Once again, maybe you'll do a box counter. See how many times I said that word throughout this whole video. Uh, check the link below for the coupon code that you can use. So today's Monday. It's going to be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. 15% off of all of our boxes. Uh, we thank you guys for our uh, for all the support that you've given us. Uh, the fly sale that we had last week, we sold. Uh, what did you say? We sold a lot of flies last week. Um, so we guys, we hope you guys are catching a ton of fish on those. And now, if you bought after you bought all those flies, load them up in some great boxes. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and make sure that you check us out every single week. We're putting on a new video here Monday morning at nine o'clock. Thank you guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you next week.